Okay, I'll have well, a. I'll... It's saying that we are live, so let me okay. let me open up the uh, chat in a different window here. All right. Okay, I got the comment picker. Cool okay. beans. Whoops. Got that. Let me open up the uh, chat in a different window here. Sorry, that's my phone. My other phone. That's okay. No worries. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Sorry, I'm a little slow here. Once I get the I'm trying to get that, it's the same thing I'm trying to do. My channel. All right. Live now. All right, I turned that off. All right, now I can see the chat. Um, yeah, I can't see any chat iPhone is giving me issues. Okay. This is so bizarre. I don't know what the hell is going on with this. Every time I try to open it, it's giving me problems. Fudge. Here we go. I've got chat now. That's because my wife is messing with my, I know why, because she, she scrolled it off the computer screen, so you can't even see it when you open the window. <laughs> hey, Brian. I'll be on the Hey, chat. Mel. Hey, Jenny O, what's going on? All right, here we go. Hey, everybody, sorry, I'll be with you in one second. There we go. Apologies if you hear the phone vibrate when the stuff goes off. I didn't even think about that. It's all good. Can everybody hear us okay? What's up, OMFG? Mr. Funky Gift. Can everybody hear us in the chat? Uh, sounds good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good, good. All righty. So thank you guys all for coming. Uh, obviously, I'm Tim. It's sometimes Pops. I have very special guests here, Sean. Um, is Sean going to go full screen when he talks? Do you guys, can you guys let me know? Because I prefer that there's a little bit on of your, the way. On your screen, Tim, mm -hmm. you should be able to see me when I go full screen. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. As long as you don't have the white border around me, I should go full screen whenever I talk and you'll just see me full screen. Like I see you full. Great. Great. So I'm just trying to minimize my chat window real quick um, because I don't want to continuously look over to my left um, every time I'm trying to look at the chat. So just bear with me for one second. That's correct. Zach, I'm on double duty tonight. And my webcam broke last night, guys, so this is my first time doing this on a phone. Awesome, awesome. All right, now I got the chat, and we're looking pretty good here, guys. Got a lot to do. We got a lot to cover here, so stick with us. Should be a good time. Um, first and foremost, just want to say thank you to Sean for joining us tonight. Really appreciate that, Sean. Uh, you're the man, and... Uh, if you're, if you're not subbed to Sean's channel, go check his content out. He's a true, awesome content creator. He does a lot of um, awesome collectible stuff, not just Funko, but everything. And, uh, you know, I, tr I actually really like his collection. Every time he buys stuff, I'm always tuning in because I want to see what's new, what's popping. So, uh, so again, thanks, Sean. And uh, if you guys haven't checked him out, definitely go do so. Yeah, appreciate that, bud. No problem. Hey, Grumpy. Hey, C4. Kelly, two peas and a pop. Thanks for joining. This is something basic. Mikey Turner. Um, I monitored all of the entries pretty closely, and I, as of a couple seconds ago, just locked down the random comment picker because I wanted to make sure that the people that were there at the beginning stayed there. And as a matter of fact, I have to go back to the random comment picker. Uh, shoot. Uh, X that out by accident. Damn it. I'm running animal interference at the moment. <laughs> All right, let me uh, 
Let me just get the random comment picker up, guys, and then we'll get started. I got to get the, uh, the link that Sean sh sent me earlier. So we got a ton of giveaways tonight. We got seven different giveaways. We're going to do one roughly every 13 minutes. We may uh, do one, you know, two at 26 or something like that. But uh, sit tight. Look, they're coming. And we're going to play a little game, too, which I think the whole chat will enjoy participating in. Yeah, this will be part one of me getting in trouble tonight. Yeah, yeah. This is before uh, Sean gets worn down by all the other live streams he was invited to tonight. Start, <laughs> and, and starts making questionable decisions. <laughs> so, uh, all right. I'm on the random comment picker. And, uh, yeah, let me just get the link in there from the video. I want to do it on my cell phone so you guys can see it when I actually choose it. So... <laughs> no quick draw i don't think uh I, I won't be playing guitar i don't know i can't speak for tim yeah no guitar here tonight for me unfortunately but uh i'll do my best to keep you guys entertained all right all right so thanks for coming this is my 200 subscriber giveaway you've probably all seen the prizes thus far i posted them in my last video there are seven different prizes. I tried to make each prize sort of thematic. So I wanted to, uh, you know, one is sort of Disney oriented. One is wrestling oriented. Um, a couple others are apparel oriented. One is like mechanical neck oriented with the Pacific Rim and the Titanfall 2. Um, again, thank you all for coming. And here we go. I'm going to start with a couple awesome things that I got in the mail today. I'm going to unbox them for you live here. And we'll just go from there, and then we'll get into a little game that, that I'm going to play here, which is going to be a lot of fun. So I got this first package here. It's from Mercari. It is Funko-related, and it is super awesome. So, Sean, I know you may have gotten some new things in the mail today. Uh, I know that the big discussion on YouTube recently was, or at least on Instagram, was the packing uh, practices of certain companies. <laughs> yeah. And, and you had a bad experience with, was it Big Pop Shop? Yeah, so I've, I've had a couple arguments with Mystery Box owners recently. First with Toy USA and their practice of uh, taking reproduced uh, pops overseas and treating them as though they're the originals. I didn't agree with the way Cody was doing the values on those. Uh, Cody is the owner of Toy USA. Okay. And then again, with Big Pop Shop, they sent me a box that was absolutely destroyed. <laughs> And yeah. uh, I contacted them. They ignored me for an entire week. So I waited till they made a post, commented on it, instantly deleted my comments, DM'd me, basically said, call UPS it's, or USPS, not their problem. So, so not so, happy with either of those. <laughs> so shady, so shady. So I got a, uh, when all this was being discussed on Instagram, I interjected and I was talking about Hot Topic and how uh, I tend to get a lot of damage pops from Hot Topic that are in perfectly fine sorters. So I've come to the mm -hmm. conclusion that I think they're just either taking like slightly damaged overstock or uh, or they were just blatantly damaged before they put them in the sorter because there's nothing wrong with the shipping box. There's nothing wrong with the sorter. And then you take them out and there's, there's all these imperfections and you, you kind of wonder like, why would you even ship that to me? You know, I'm not going to want it. You know what I mean? I, I don't know that everybody knows the uh, effect that it has on collectors when the boxes are damaged. So they may not care. Uh, they may treat it like, you know, Hey, it's just for a kid or whatever. But uh, I I've seen similar things from Dr. Applesauce too. Mm -hmm. They have those funky sorters at GameStop where the sides are open. So you could scan the pop mm -hmm. when it's in the uh, sorter. And yep. those tend to catch on the, uh, the windows and drag parts of the box. So he's, he's gotten a bunch of those. And I saw him complaining to GameStop about that. Yeah, and then uh, I ha happened to actually be in GameStop yesterday, and I was talking to the – I picked a Dragon Force uh, Gajil or Gajil off the shelf from the ECCC. Yeah. And I know I was about to buy it, and I noticed that it had a slight – I'm sorry, is that me? That's me. Shoot. I don't know how to turn it. Jesus Christmas. Are you guys hearing that ding? Or is it just nope. me? Okay, good. All right. Um, I'm getting all these dings for notifications. So I, I asked the guy, I said, look, this has a little tear in the corner. Can you, can you take some off of it? Because I was still going to get it. I mean, it was very minimal. And he said, uh, 
he said, no, we can't because the way that we categorize damage is if the box itself is um, like actually crushed. So the box has to be actually crushed for them to consider it damage, which, you know, then I'm, then I'm thinking about those other comments that were put on Instagram prior. And I'm like, okay, clearly th they just don't consider that damage. So that's why they would ship it. I would just smash it and send it back to them. Yeah, or well, I, or yeah. I'd stand in front of him and crush it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be like, how about the discount now? I'll take it out of box. Um, so, yep, okay. So here we go. I'm just going to grab the link here from the YouTube video from my prior video, and then we are going to be underway. It'll take about two seconds. I'll show you the first okay. item that I got in the mail. Check this out, bro. Let me, know, let me know in the chat what you guys think about that. Boom. Is that a Skeletor Hikari? Yes, it is. That's pretty sweet. 5,000 piece Skeletor Hikari. I got this at an amazing price on Lakari, actually. Hikari off Mercari. <laughs> uh, if you pictures, like Hikaris, if you like Hikaris, look at uh, Gemini collect collectibles. Okay. And they have uh, warehouse blowouts, is what they call them. Oh, so really? You can get. Okay. Yeah, you. I picked up a couple of like metallic Ninja Turtle ones, like thousand piece ones for ten dollars the other day. Ten dollars piece. Oh, nice, very nice. Okay, I'm just grabbing the link here. Boom, boom. got hey, it. Invalid. Oh, what's up, Invalid? You made it. Quick draw, everybody. Rebel, welcome, Rebel. Thank you so much. Rebel is one of my first subscribers, along with like Poppin' Stories, Rob Molina. I know Sean and I connected at a pretty early. Uh, point as well as invalid so thank you guys all for being here it really means a lot to me um i got the link now for the random comment picker and i'm gonna plug it in so if you haven't already definitely uh i'll give you about two minutes to go over there if you're in the chat remember you have to be in the chat to win and um i'll probably get one of these the first giveaway out of the way right away so go over there hashtag jack burton 200 on my, it should be the last video before this one, and uh, we'll get started. Hey, Mystery Pop, you made it. Welcome. Basic, what's up? Scratch and go crazy. Kitty Sam's World, all great supporters. C4, Alex Lopez, Kelly Zufelt, Sarah, Papa Luch, Bali's World, Jiminy. Great seeing you guys you all here tonight. Appreciate it. 46 watching, brother. Dude, that's awesome. I said if we hit 50 that we're going to do two more giveaways, and... Um, so I, I probably should do the first one right now. So the first giveaway, guys, is going to be the Mighty Mugs. It's almost like a full set of the Avengers. These things all change faces. I oh, yeah, I remember those things. Yeah, these things are great. So I got Groot. You're going to get Star-Lord. <laughs> okay. Star near mint, near mint, <laughs> near mint, near mint. My, this is the GameStop definition of damage coming up. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Don't worry. It's not broken. It's not broken. It's just the sticker came off the little outside plastic piece. A little Thor action. So you're gonna you're gonna get a full set of six of these. Plus you're gonna get my man Stanley Pop has. Rest in peace. So it's a nice little package, and it weighs quite a bit, so I'm a little scared about what the shipping's going to be. It's like, I don't care. I planned on it. That's a good That's a good prize to start with. Yeah, I figured that would be a good one, good one to start with. So I'll give you a couple uh, – I'll give you one more minute to get over there and put your comment on there. Hashtag Jack Burton 200 on the last video. Um. And then I'll start the random comment picker. I got it up right here. I'll try to lower my uh, my brightness so you guys can see it. Kitty. <laughs> Eating like the only good boxes I have over there. Hey, Brian, what's up? Hey, Dana, Chabby. I know a lot of you people uh, in here have already entered, so I'll scroll. I'll just scroll through the chat here and see if I see anybody there. Abby two one three. Who is that? I have no idea. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Sicka guy. Good live earlier, Chabby. Uh, uh, uh. 
Now Mike, he was live in the middle of the day, Brian. Mike Buskirk. That's a new one to me. You know what? I'm gonna close. The, I'm gonna close the comments in about third, ten seconds because I don't want a bunch of trolls tr- jumping in here. <laughs> Stabby two one three four. I've never seen your name before ever, but I hope you're a good person and I hope you're a collector. Um, all right, I'm gonna uh, close Stabby's. The- Stabby's been on my lives before. Okay, cool. All right, that that looks like it. I'm going to close it on that. Here we go. We're going to do the random comment picker on that. Is this not working? What am I doing wrong here? Uh, you're doing it. Maybe just hit it while you're looking at it and turn it around while it's going. Oh, uh, no, I got it. I, I forgot to grab the YouTube comments. Sorry, guys. New to this. Um, oh. <laughs> so, all right. So there were 67 unique commenters. That's really awesome. And there it is there. 67 unique commenters. And we're going to start it. There you go. It's going. All right. So... We have Zach Bonifer. Okay, Zach, you're the proud new owner of six Mighty Mugs and a Stan Lee Popez. Congratulations. Uh, Zach, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to my Instagram and direct message me uh, your information. I'm going to write down that you're the first winner. So winner of package number one, Zach Bonifer. Uh, unfortunately, Zach, that disqualifies you to win anything else tonight. So I apologize for that, but, uh, Hey, at least you got something. I think Zach was watching how many people in here. They said we just hit 50. Yep. So that qualifies us to add two additional giveaways. Um, so we're going to take a couple minutes between this one and the next one. Yeah. J clan. I saw, I just haven't had a chance to watch it yet, bud. I appreciate you telling me though. Yo, you like that Hikari? Yeah, so I got this bad boy, too. Check that badass guy out. He reminds me of the Martian guy from uh, Attack, of, uh, Attack from Mars or whatever it's called. 750 it piece. The Metaluna Mutant? Yep. Do you want me to see what he's going for on Gemini? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I mean, I hope I didn't uh, overspend. But I actually got these three from the same place, so... The shipping wasn't too bad, and uh, mm. the price the prices were pretty low, quite honestly. Okay, yeah, I think I, I think he was seventeen, so he wasn't like super cheap, but he was cheaper than you would think a seven fifty piece would be. Absolutely. All right, so you know what? We're gonna get into the game here, Pamela Penman. Uh, I think you're gonna miss out there, Pamela. I already closed the comments. Um, let's get into the game. I bought this game. It's called What Do You Meme, right? So you guys are all familiar with a meme. Uh, On Instagram, somebody will post a picture. Frost Queen's really good at the meme, uh, or at least she posts a lot of funny ones that she finds. And Sean and I are going to battle. You guys feel free to participate in the chat as well. They come with these cards. So I'm going to pick a stack for Sean. I'm going to pick a stack for me. I'm not going to look at either one. When I put up the picture for the meme, I'm going to – Read both of our cards, and then I want you guys to vote who you think is the better meme. All right? So here's a stack right there. I'm going to split that in two. Like so. Boom, boom, boom. This will be me. This will be Sean. Antonio likes your hair. I like my hair. Thank you, sir. I thought it was looking quite poor, actually. (laughs) I didn't really have time to uh, freshen up too much after work. It's been a busy day, so. I apologize for that in advance. So I'm going to try to see if I can get this little easel thing to uh, to stand up properly here. Let's see if I can get to show you this real quick. This way the chat can see pictures. How is that? That's ah, a little low. Let me see. Oh, this. Ay, ay, ay. They don't make this easy, do they? There we go. It's a little better. All right, guys. So here comes the first meme. This one's pretty funny. All right, so add a <laughs> add a caption to this guy. 
add what you think the funniest caption to this guy would be, and I'll pull what Sean and, and my cards are in a second. So I have, <laughs> I have my card here. I got Sean's card here. I'll reveal them in five, four, three, two, one. So this is me. And it says, when you get home and your roommate's eating the tomato quiche you were saving from the night before. I don't, I don't think that would be my reaction, per se. And then this is Sean. When it's the first day of spring and you get your monthly cycle. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> is that coming up backwards in the chat? Can you guys read that or no? Because it's it's backwards to me, so I don't know. No, it's it's, it's good. Okay. All right. So sh this is Sean. This is me. Uh, just say Tim or Sean in the chat, and then I'll pick the I'll pick the winner, and then and then we'll count a couple times, and then whoever has the most points at the end will win. Um. 6-0 against you right now. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine wasn't, too, yeah. mine wasn't too strong at that time. Uh, yeah, you sitting at zero votes. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Sean's the winner. Awesome. Oh, All Frost right. Queen. Frost Queen pity vote. <laughs> oh, pity vote. Thanks, Frost Queen. Appreciate it. <laughs> From the meme queen. Awesome. All right, so let's say goodbye to our uh, spring sweater guy here, or whatever that sweater is for. How okay, many of those pictures are there? There's a lot, dude. There's a, It comes with a lot. Look at this. Ready? Oh, all right. Yeah, there's a ton. So we'll, we'll have a pretty good time with this. I'll start banging through a couple of them here. Oh, this is a good one. Ready? Ready, chat? Feel free to add your own memes to this as well while you're at it. <laughs> So normally, <laughs> so normally what would happen here is that you would have a hand, you would have like seven or eight cards in your hands, and then you'd be able to, uh, you'd be able to pick which one you thought was most appropriate. But in the way that we're doing it here, I'm sort of just grabbing from a stack. So here's my card. Here's Sean's card. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know what yours it says. Is, yours is so long. <laughs> when she's driving, uh, when she's driving you to your homie's house, and you stopped giving her directions three turns ago, but she's still going the right way. When he says Fifty Shades of Grey is his favorite book, <laughs> <laughs> I think I got you again. <laughs> I think you might have got me on that one again. Yep, for sure. <laughs> I think I think Sean probably got me on that one. I got to keep like scrolling down my chat because it's not reloading. All right, there you go. All right, so we got two for Sean. We got one for Tim. Wow. All right, nice. I didn't think I was gonna get it. There's another one for Tim. All right, Sean. I think you're the winner of that one, buddy. I think yeah. that was more funny anyway. <laughs> Definitely for sure. Hold on, let me get this. One. Hey, fifty-five watching. Fifty-five. Awesome guys. So that's Sean's winning meme right there. Like how Fifty Shades of Grey is trademarked in that sentence. Yeah, I know, right? Everything's trademarked nowadays. I'm going to try to avoid... Uh, oh, no. I can't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a I good imagine right. a few of these are not appropriate. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole pack of cards that they say are um, like the mature deck. So I didn't open those. So these should all at least be PG-13 for the most part. Can you aim it down like an inch or two? We're just missing what's going on at the bottom card. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'll try to prop it up even more here. Uh, I can't aim the computer webcam down anymore, but you, you should see this. This thing is oh, like literally gosh. 12 inches off my desk right now. <laughs> can you see that a little better? Uh, can you put... Yeah, it's a little better. If you pull whatever it's standing on back towards you a little bit, that might help too. There you go. Perfect. How, how is that a little better? All right. Yeah, that's good. Go. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So this is the next one. Here comes, uh, I'll just do one at a time. So here comes mine. I'm not looking at these beforehand. So here comes mine. What does it say? 
when your friend who died at the pregame shows up at the bar. That's not bad. And then Sean's is when you're watching a movie with your parents and there's a sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> you kill me, bro. These are funny, man. <laughs> Based I just that, got dealt a better hand. <laughs> that that picture is hilarious with that meme, though. It's so creepy. <laughs> like, why would you be making that face, right? Uh, Kitty Sam's world says, hmm, wants me to meet her mother. <laughs> it's like, hmm, awkward, right? All right, so Sean, you got three. I got, I got Squalooch over here. Three nothing. Sean. Oh, it's, it, <laughs> it's a lot of Sean. <laughs> Yeah, yours have been better thus far for sure. I'm just gonna do like a tick mark, like a like a slash mark for each win. So it's three to one, Sean. Uh, Zach Bonifer is the first winner of the contest for prize number one. And see you later, Mr. Meme. Here comes meme number four or number five. Oh, this is a decent one. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys on Saturday nights? Like nobody votes for me on Saturdays. <laughs> That's what Quick Draw just said. Sean finally got to win. I finally got to win a game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is my card. Sorry if I have a hard time saying this. So when you start a, when you start a new diet on Thursday, but then spend the entire weekend blacked out covered in pizza. That sounds pretty good for me. <laughs> and then yours is when you show up on a blind date and they're wearing a fedora. Ah, you're killing me. Killing it. <laughs> that meme is so much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so chat, Sean or Tim on this one? What do you think? Oh, we got Tim. Tim. Ooh, Ooh we got Tim's. Ooh. All right. All right. You know what? I think I'm gonna take that one, Sean. Sorry, buddy. Take it while you can. The late Sean votes are coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you would have probably taken me over at some point. It looks pretty even on that one, actually. So No, you're getting a bunch down here towards the end. I think you got me. Awesome. All right. So I'll, so it's three to two. Tim and Tim versus Sean, three to two. Oh, Lord. Uh, I got to do it, I guess. I'm going to get in trouble <laughs> for this. Can you read it? Why must things be this way? <laughs> yeah. It's already uh, memed. <laughs> it's already memed. You're right. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble for this. That's a live stream. Just hide it if it's bad. <laughs> All right. This is, this is mine. <laughs> this is Sean's. <laughs> No bueno. Uh, no, just, no bueno. Just vote Sean. Just vote Sean. <laughs> you guys get all that? You get all that wonderful glory right there? <laughs> Grumpy says when your pop shows up in a shipping envelope. Yes, exactly. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Hermione speak. says, how much am I getting paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that calls to mind all kinds of... Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that one. So, yeah. Oh, you guys can't read the cards? It mine was about the uh, gynecologist high fiving the person. Oh, are the card are the cards backwards on their screen or? I think uh, they may just not have like full uh, resolution. Okay, All right, I'll keep them up a little longer so people can try to read them. Oh, this is a good one too. All right, you guys ready? Here comes meme number. I think I you probably took that one right, Sean, or was that me? I see a lot of Sean's uh... there. See a few Tim's. I think I got. I think I got that one. All right, we'll give it to uh, yeah. Sean. Ten to five. Oh, quick draw is saying that because when you talk, you go full screen. So he was saying that because we're chatting while this is going on, that it's taking oh, the, my, the meme yeah, off. Yeah, my bad. If I laugh, it takes me over. Yeah, same, same. All right, so we'll try not to laugh. This one was pretty funny. It was lit, fam. It was lit. Okay, so here's mine. Uh, 
when you're, what does it say? When you're pissing in a pool and have to pretend like you're not pissing in a pool. I could hear somebody say that's a little bit. And then here's Sean's. When you, <laughs> when you mistake a used pregnancy test for a thermometer, it was lit. <laughs> that would be lit, bro. <laughs> Tim, Sean, Tim, Sean. Okay, we got two Sean's, three Sean's. Sean, I think Sean's going to take that one, but thank you, Frost. I appreciate it. I think Sean took that one, too. So now we're looking at a 5-2 score. You know, maybe I should have shuffled these cards, huh? <laughs> Shuffle them together and split the thing again if you want to. Nah, We're just, just playing for luck anyway. <laughs> Here comes the next one, y'all, and then uh, I'll do another unboxing, and then maybe we'll get to the second giveaway. How's that sound? This is a funny one. And, and chat, feel free to uh, create your own memes, too, and throw them in there. Just try to be uh, PG if you could. It's a little bit early for any craziness. Could be younger kids in here. I don't know. Star Wars Pop Hunter, what's going on? All right, so this is Tim's. When you pronounce Akai correctly, the guy gets very offended. And then when your friends are all starting to have kids, but you can't manage to keep a cactus alive. <laughs> God, can't love it. Stay away, stay away, kids. So <laughs> I don't you, want the damage pop. <laughs> you just had a pregnancy test one that you use for a thermometer, and then your next card was talking about when all your friends are having kids and you're like, you know, you can't keep a cactus alive. So I'm starting to see a theme here. I got a bunch of Sean's on that one. So Sean, you are at six to two right now. Woo. All right. What do you need to win this one, seven? Yeah, why don't we do seven, and then maybe we'll uh, do another giveaway. All right. Or why don't we do ten? Let's do ten. Okay. All right, so now we have a cute little chihuahua face. All right, this is me. This is Sean. We'll do Sean first this time. I feel like I, I've been having bad luck flipping mine first, so let's do that. Did you read it? <laughs> yeah. When your leak sex tape goes viral in Lithuania. I'm reading it backwards, by the way. So kudos to me. Um, and then mine is, oh, yeah. I'm taking this one all day. <laughs> Sean or Tim, chat. Sean or Tim. I think yours fits the dog better. Yeah. Grumpy <laughs> says, when you find out it's not really beef. <laughs> <laughs> or mine, he says, I really hate Taco Bell. You killed me on that one. Wally, this is the PG-13 deck. The mature deck gets really bad, I think. I haven't even opened up that pack yet. And I won't on this stream, but maybe uh, some late night stream. I think I took that one, Sean. Yeah, I agree. So we got 6-3. Get rid of the Chihuahua. This is your new content. You just read these and film videos for like 45 minutes. There you go, man. <laughs> this is a good game. I like it. It's interactive. It's pretty pretty cool. When I was in the store, I was like, there's not a lot of games that you can structure online either. You know what I mean? That you can take no, out of the box and not. structure online. Um, all right. So this is me. When you see a cute service dog, but you can't, I think it says you can't pet it because you know it's been training its whole life for this. And then this is yours. When you accidentally eat something vegan. I don't think you'd be making that face, but unless you're a vegan, that is. All right, Sean or Tim, guys. <laughs> Hermione, PG-13. Got two Sean's. I got 
four Sean, five Sean's. We got five Tim's. Ooh, I see a lot of Tim's getting followed up. Yeah, I think you got it on the back side Ooh, of this. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Catching up, catching up. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Six to four. See you later, baby seal. I don't know what you are, manatee, baby seal. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Um, that guy has a whoop to him. What do you think? Let's see what this guy's thinking. Let's see what this guy's thinking. What are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm sorry. That one fits me better than you. <laughs> what is that? I can't read it backwards. When you realize there are 7 billion people on this planet and you still can't find someone to enjoy a taco with. That was made for Sean. Totally. And then this is yours, Sean. When you hear someone say <laughs> moist, oh my God. <laughs> They're both me. <laughs> what do you think, chat? Sean or Tim? Quick throw. I would have taken it if I had the taco one. We got two Sean, two Tim, four Sean, five Sean, six, seven, eight Sean. I think you took that one, Sean. I think I did. All right, Wally, have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Hope I didn't offend anybody. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so there's seven uh, for Sean and four for Tim. Three more, Sean takes it. You know what, 737, let's do another giveaway. What do you think, everybody? <laughs> Sean's moist taco, seriously? <laughs> Just gonna move this for one second. See, actually, you know what's funny is I know a lot of people that when they hear the word moist, it actually cringes them out. Like they don't like it. I'm I kind of think it's a cringy kind of word too, a little bit. I don't know, it makes me laugh. I don't know what it is. It's it's like it just an has a weird connotation associated with it. Yeah, right. It's like, is it creepy? Is it, you know, is it just a literal statement? I don't know. All right. Oh, okay. Sucking guys. the camera in close. There we go. Say hi, buddy. Guys, what do you think of this new shirt I got here? Hashtag sauce. <laughs> Boom. Mm. If you guys will watch Rick it, ever get the sauce? Will he ever find the Szechuan sauce from McDonald's? <laughs> All right, guys. So I just pulled the comments again, and I see 67 comments. So we'll do. Actually, I'll go through what the second prize is this is a good one i'm a big fan of this one personally this is the jack and bt or not the jack and bt but the sarah and blisk the legion and blisk i'm sorry titanfall 2 six inch pop with the pilot that actually goes inside the pop which is super super cool love that series and then we got this awesome awesome pacific rim action figure that has a lot of articulation, put it in a bunch of different poses. Frost Queen actually, uh, you know, contributed, donated this to my giveaway uh, several weeks ago. So thank you so much, Frost Queen, for that. That was very sweet of you. And I see you here tonight. So I appreciate you coming by as well. So that's going to be the second giveaway. And I, I kind of themed that one as the mechanical mech giveaway. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So here we go. Good luck, everybody. Cosmo will eat the pilot. He ate mine. Oh, no. Mystery Pop Theater. Mystery Pop Theater. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, my man. Congratulations. Now I got to ship this all the way to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yes, RIP, baby diva. Congrats, oh. Curtis. Yeah, congrats, Curtis, man. You deserve it. All right, so Mystery Pop Theater, I'll write you down. You are number two. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, I already talked to Mystery Pop Theater quite a bit, so I actually already did a trade with him as well, so I should have his address. Shouldn't be a problem. Sean, did you get anything in the mail today that you want to show the chat? Uh, I did. Our Jenny Papalucha here. I saw them earlier, but I haven't seen them say anything. Yeah, I saw Papa Lucha in here earlier. They, I don't know if he's here now. Let me see. 
I have a mystery box. Oh, here we go. Yeah, if you want, well, if, he's not. If you want to save it for your channel content, that's fine. But I figured, why not? If while we're here, right? Everybody's yeah. in. No, I just don't have something to open it with. Dun dun dun. There we go. This is from. Uh, this is from Jenny and Pop Pelusia, right? Yeah, Ponte family. Uh, I was on their channel a couple Fridays ago. They do tr movie trivia. And this one just happened to be a movie I had actually seen. So it was Thor Ragnarok. And good lord. Ponte's don't play with the tape. So you do like 20 questions, and then whoever answers the most correctly at the end gets a little prize. open <laughs> what's in the box oh sweet yes you guys did it all right so this was my prize and i asked them to sign it as well so it's the uh hulk from thor ragnarok with both jenny and papa's signatures on it that is awesome dude i like that yep. yeah they didn't want to sign the papa i was like guys sign the window or stay in a pop protector they put in a pop protector for me so. That looks good. That looks good, man. It looks 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 awesome. Autograph pops are always great. It's gonna go right up behind me with uh, other autographs over on that side, and then we got Papa Lucha sticker. Oh yeah, the Papa Luch merch. Go hit it Is up. This pink Papa? Is that pink? It, it looks he, pink. I, I think. Yeah. I think he sent me the pink one. Thanks, Papa. And I think there's. Oh yeah, there's something else in here bubble wrap which i desperately need and more thor ragnarok theme with the hulk pez which i do not have i have the uh the gold one that came in the marvel box so that's sweet one of, that's one of my favorite pop pez actually because of, they put the uh the war paint on his face and the detail is fantastic on that one it really is here let's see if we can I don't know how much uh, the ring light interferes with it. That looks good there. Just say something so you pop up. Yep. There you go, guys. This is the Thor Ragnarok Pez. And unlike Quick Draw, I will not just bust it open and start eating the Pez. <laughs> awesome, dude. Awesome. All right, so... That was uh, giveaway number two. I have to do quite a bit of these because I know Sean um, has a schedule that he has to keep. He's a very popular man tonight. So uh, I want to, because we had hit, hit 50 in the chat, I'm going to do a total of nine giveaways. So I really need to work through these initial ones, and then we'll wait a little bit longer for the ones at the end. So I'll go to number three uh, right now, which I believe is the... I forgot what numbers I put on the thing, but we'll, we'll do this. The next one actually is a good time to do it because it is wrestling oriented. And we were just talking about Papa Luch. And then these aren't wrestling oriented, but I'm going to throw these in as an added bonus. So that's the Grape Ape Funko Pop Pez. And that is the Joker Funko Pop Pez. Both really cool. Sorry about the glare, guys. But really cool, both of those. Um, and then the other items in this wrestling themed box for the next winner is going to be the Conan in Luchador, which is a, which is a super awesome pop. If you guys haven't seen this one yet, love this one a lot. The design on it, the Luchador outfit is, is on point. So that'll be the second one. And I love actually how he's, it actually looks like it's a female luchador outfit because he's got the little uh, brassiere on there. <laughs> Unless that's just Jenny, supposed to be. <laughs> Jimmy, did I miss something? Jenny, did I miss something? And Jiminy, yes, I have the 10-inch the Hulk to go with the. Grumpy Skunk wants this one because he wants the what's coming up in a minute. This is uh, Ric Flair. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't do it. I could do it, but I don't want to scare my wife. She's in the other room. But that's yeah, a Cosmo's cool. Cosmo sitting in my lap. <laughs> I see. I see him. He's cute, Kazi. So that's a cool pop too. And then finally, out of this one, we got the spastic plastic. I think 
This is from 2005, guys. Spastic Plastic Luchador Wrestling Outfit. One piece vinyl. And it's got the whole... It's got the Mexican flag on the back. Uh, and it says Arena de Mexico or Arena de Tijuana. Um, and I, I'm not sure. I was trying to research this on eBay. Um, after I found it, I was trying to research it. And I think it might have been given away out at, uh, given out at an event. Um, but I'm not certain about that. There are some more rare versions of this, but I don't know if you can see. He's got a very, like, his whole luchador mask sparkles, with, like, purple. So he was kind of, like, doing the Chabby Pop Tokyo thing before Chabby Pop Tokyo 2005. This luchador. Boom. Go check out Chabby Jenny, Pop Tokyo, by the way. Sorry, Tim. Jenny, oh. I'd see three things. Sticker, Pop, Pez. So I'm missing something. You're going to have to... Give me a hint. <laughs> Avery, really? Is that is that for real, Avery? Avery just said she added me to a giveaway and I won. I never win anything. <laughs> I find that hard to believe, but that's totally awesome if it's true. Um, so thank you. All right, so we're going to do the, the giveaway now for the, the wrestling sort of five-pack, if you will. Uh, so let me do this. We have one more additional comment. We have a total of 68 comments, and I will start that now. Stabby2134, the guy who just joined at the last second. Awesome. But Sean has said that you've seen him in your live streams, right, Sean? Stabby? Yeah, I have seen him before. All right, let me go back to the video, make sure he left the proper hashtag. Ah, oh, no. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it was super small. Sorry, Jenny. It was caught in the bubble wrap. Tim, can you tell what that is? A taco and a cat? A cat eating a taco? It's a, it's a little miniature cat holding a taco. Sorry, awesome. Jenny and Papa. This is in the bubble wrap. All right, so I'm checking Stabby's hashtag. He has hashtag Jack Burton 200. He did say congrats on the 200. I appreciate that. Uh, Thanks for joining very late in the game. I hope you're here to support everybody in the community and you didn't just join for the giveaway, but regardless, you won. So you're going to get in, that. Is he in the chat? Yeah, well, he, he was in the chat. Oh, there he is. Ago. Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Where you at, buddy? You see him? Do, do, do. Yep, yeah. thanks, y'all. All right, great. Stabby, you're the proud owner of the wrestling five-pack there. Get in touch with Grumpy Skunk because he wants that uh, spastic plastic. Um, Stabby, hit me up on Instagram. It's sometimes pops. DM me your information and I will get that out to you. I, I get it, Papa. It's Taco Cat. And guys, if you didn't know, Taco Cat backwards. Also Taco Cat. Alrighty. So at this point, guys, no, I'm not going to really allow probably any more comments. I'm going to lock down the comments on that, and then we'll just work with the 68 unique comments that we have. I think um, most of the people that commented from what I've seen in the chat here are here and present. So we'll just keep going with that. Hey, Rebel, did you get into the, uh, did you get into the contest? Let me know in the chat if you were able to get in. <laughs> uh, I got to scroll down. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Beep Does it count beep. as a string bean raid if you're the only one who hashtag string bean raid? String bean? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's more of a one-man army at that point, right? It's close to a raid. Hey, he's trying. <laughs> hey, he's doing good. He's doing good. All right. String Bean, appreciate you being here. Um, yeah, how do you wear that hat? <laughs> hey, man, when you're a fan, you're a fan. What can you do? You know, through thick and thin. Oh, my gosh. What I are you wearing? just sat on the – yeah, I'm a Redskins fan, so 
picked up Sanchez last year. <laughs> I feel your pain. Yeah. So, hey, you know what? Guys like Mark Sanchez and guys like uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, they're the smartest guys in the NFL. They don't have to play much, and they make like $75 million. So good for them. Um, both of those guys got paid big money, and they didn't have to really do much. Although Sanchez went to a couple AFC championships. Uh, all right, guys. Well, it's time for the meme game again. Meme game. Sean's currently game up on. on. Sean's currently up on sometimes pops. And he's got seven. I got four. So I'm creeping back up. Oh, yeah, baby. We got a quality one here, Sean. Get ready. Hold on. Oh, I got to make it a little taller. Hold on a second. We're getting comfortable now. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Ready? YMCA. Guys, leave your memes in the chat. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. SDA says hashtag uh, butt, butt fumble. Of course. Uh, this is a 1940s youth group here on our screen. <laughs> <laughs> Calisthenics at, at, at the old people home. Actually, that's more literal than it would be a meme, right? Oh, my God. All right, here we go. This is me. This is me, and this is Sean. Who's the winner? <laughs> Can you guys see it? This is me. This is Sean. They're voting for you already. All right. Tim's the winner, I think, on this one. All right. Coming back. Coming back. 7-5 now. 7-5. Let's get rid of that. See you later, Golden Girls. Sorry, Dorothy and Blanche, and Sophia and Rose. You're hitting the bench. All right. So here we go. Here comes meme. Here's the next meme. And we got a monkey with a phone. That's right, people. It's getting real. What do you got for me, chat? Let's see some creativity. Ah, Pamela, I like that one. NFL referee retirement reunion. Nice. All right, here we go. This is me. This is Sean. Three, two, one. Boom. What do we got? Sean's eating chocolate. Courtesy of the Luau. Nice. You guys don't you guys don't know him. The man gives away free chocolate. <laughs> when you say you speak a little Spanish and they try having a full blown Spanish conversation with you, and then when that's Sean's, and then mine is when your chip breaks in the salsa. Tim Sean. Like mine it. for the monkey. Yep, I think uh, I think Sean's a winner on that one. Sean, you're approaching ten. You got to win by two, buddy. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the monkey with the cell phone is gone. Uh, this this one has a world of possibilities. World of possibilities. <laughs> this one. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> the first one that comes to mind. Right, this is me. This is Sean. Move that back a little bit. And here we go. <laughs> which one's it going to be? The... Which, uh, which one's it going to be, y'all? When the Girls Gone Wild commercial comes on. <laughs> when, uh, what's the other one? When, when your crush something or other? I don't know. It says something. When your crush... Says they're stuck at the office, but their Snapchat is full of adventures. (laughs) 
We got two Tims. We got one, two, one Sean, two Seans, three Seans. Sean, Tim. Four Seans, five Seans, six Seans. I think you got it, Sean, on that one for show. All right. You are at nine. You are at nine. You are one away from a W, my friend. Here we go. Uh-oh. This is going to be me after you get to ten. <laughs> That's Cosmo watching me eat chocolate also. <laughs> All right. So this is me. This is Sean. What kind of chocolate is that, Sean? Win- Windor truffle? Uh, well, I'm eating hazelnuts mostly, but uh, this little chocolate that I ate is a little dove dark chocolate. Oh, that's, yeah, says. those are good. I've had those real good. All right. Here we go. Sean, Tim. Those are both long. <laughs> yeah, I have to wait till it pops up on my other screen. Uh, ba, 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 da, da, da. Where are you? Okay. When your mom tries to be your friend after you... Oh, I can't read it. I'll just read it. When your mom tries... That's you, actually. When your mom tries to be your friend after yelling at you for not taking the hamburger patties out of the freezer like she asked. That doesn't really <laughs> apply. When you go to a Halloween party as the Hulk and people keep saying they love your Shrek costume, that actually does work. <laughs> All right, looks like uh, Timoteo is the winner. Timoteo is the weirdest Spanish name ever because, uh, you know, when you're in high school Spanish class, they try to turn everybody's name into what it would be in Spanish and then the the instructor calls you by the Spanish version of your name. The Spanish version yeah. of my, my name is Timoteo. I was always like, come on, really, dude? You know, my, bu- <laughs> my buddy James was like, hey, Diego. I was like, damn, Diego's so much cooler. So much cooler. All right. Well, I wanted to be a uh, Jaime for James, Jaime. but everybody wanted to call me Juan. I was like, it's the most boring. I don't know. Okay. Juan, Miguel, just very redundant Spanish names. God. So, all right, I'm going to skip that one because you're approaching. So I'm going to try to pick a really funny one here since you're approaching the win here. Oh, yeah, this one should be good. Maybe that. No, maybe this. No, no. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see this. Go lay down. Go. You're not getting chocolate. There's a lot of animal faces in this. All right, we're going to do this one. I feel like I know this guy. You guys know this guy? I feel like I know this guy. Here, I got to step away for a sec, Tim. Yeah, okay. Got to take care of Kazi? Uh, yeah, he needs food, apparently. Okay, yeah, go give him some kibbles and bits, and I'll see you in a second. All right, cool. We'll be right back. All right. All right, guys, next up, I still need your vote. Sean is one away from the W on this, so... Every vote counts at this point. Here we go. And then we'll do the next giveaway. So hold on. Let me maximize this real quick. Tim, Sean. Tim, Sean. Tim, Sean. Got one for Tim. I got to take that one, right? Hell yeah. This one is funny as hell. Because that's exactly how I look on a flight when they wake me up. And they're like, you know, I'm on like an eight-hour flight. And they wake me up in the middle of the dark. And they're like, do you want peanuts? I'm like, no. I want to sleep, lady. Can't you see I'm passed out? Jeez Louise. And you got that. You give them that half eye. Like, what? What? Peanuts? No. All right. So we're looking at nine to seven right now. Thank you guys so much for helping with the voting here. Really appreciate that. See you later, Vladimir Putin. Next up, this is me when I get a damage pop in the mail. (laughs) Wait, which one was Sean in five years? I missed that. 
Uh, it might have been. It was. It had to be Vladimir Putin, or it might have been this guy. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. You got to have a sense of humor, people. All right. So, me, Sean. Here we go. Boom. Sean for the win, potentially, here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, I'm just going to make a noise so it goes on my screen here. I can't even see what it says. <laughs> Mine's really stupid. When you can finally get home and be ugly in peace is mine. And then when your crush texts you cute things like, who's this? And how did you get this number? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's never happened to anybody. It's, it's very sad. But hey, that's okay. Because you're worth it and people like you. All right, looks like uh, Tim, 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 Tim on that one. Nine to eight. It is now nine to eight. It is getting real up in here. See you later. All right, this could be the big. Uh... <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what that is. The hood? That's the uh, Monica Geller turkey and sunglasses thing, isn't it? Is it? I think that's a straight up uh, latex extraterrestrial. <laughs> All right, guys. It's nine to eight currently, right now. Sean Ryan, Toys and Games, leads Sometimes Pops in the meme challenge. Who's going to take it home? Tim or Sean? Tim or Sean? Who's it going to be? Alexandra, exactly. I, it's an alien, I guess. Uh, Zach didn't, is not going to hit the under, unfortunately. Point spread was three. <laughs> yeah, you covered. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this one's not good. Sean is taking it. This is Sean. It looks like I see a lot of Sean. Sean, 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 Sean. All right. It looks like it's going to be Sean. That... <laughs> Did you read the one that I had? Yeah, I think. Was this yours? The camel toe one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a winning meme there. When your mom has a camel toe, but telling her would be more awkward than staring at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope for the chat's sake nobody's ever in that position. You, you can sign that picture for me, Tim, and just go ahead and mail it over with the uh, the mystery box we're doing. I will do, absolutely. No doubt. I got to find it. I just threw it somewhere, but I'll get it for you for sure. <laughs> That's actually a nice little memento. Um, so, yeah, guys, that was my first run at What Do You Meme. Uh, this game I picked up at Target. It was $20. Pretty cool game. I mean, if you're if you have people at your house, it would probably be a lot more fun. Uh, and you could even add your own memes, so like we're doing here in the chat, which I think uh, you know, if you have the right crowd with a good sense of humor, you won't offend anybody, and uh, should be a good time. So, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is we're looking at 8:04. I'm gonna try to end this around 8:30. So I'm gonna probably do another giveaway here pretty soon. Let me just clean up my little game here. And if you guys want for the chat, what I'll do is I'll put up some different pictures for you and you guys can just meme on them in the chat while we, while we do this. How's that sound? That's a good idea. All right, buddy. Come on. Come on. You're being a pain. But get up here. All right. So every few minutes, guys, I'll switch the pictures and we'll, and we'll just put up a new, uh, a, a new meme picture for you guys. You guys can go at it. It's not bad considering like the expansions for Cards Against Humanity are twenty dollars a piece. Yeah, and hey, you want to know what's really weird is that my wife works with a guy who uh, bought her an expansion pack to this game by accident. It was a Game of Thrones expansion pack, so it probably has a bunch of pictures of Game of Thrones characters in there mm -hmm. that you can you do memes on, which would be awesome. Um, but she didn't have the base game. 
And uh, now she does. So, And I didn't even know that when I bought it. So it worked out really well. Sorry, my house guest has personal space issues. No worries, no worries. I'm just getting these cards are everywhere, so I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. Then we'll get into the next one. He's up on the wires, buddy. Jeez. Kitty Sam's World, thank you. Yeah, I was trying to come up with something a bit different, a bit new. Um, something that the chat could interact with as well. Jiminy, when, the, when you finally come to work on time. That's a good one, Jiminy. <laughs> Hermione, only one of them doesn't have HPV. <laughs> oh, shit. Way to go. All right, guys. So this one's coming down. Finally made it to work on time. Congratulations. Great job. We have another one where... Uh, one of these things is not like the other, as Hermione so aptly put a couple seconds ago. Next one up. <laughs> Boom. This one should be fun, guys. You guys can have a lot of fun with that one. What you talking about? The final one scratch said when Sean Ryan finally wins a game. <laughs> There's just a whole line of people slapping his hand. Congratulations, Sean. Proud of you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Booze and pops when B Cobb comes back after his ninth pee break in 30 minutes. <laughs> so the official score was 10 to 9. It was actually a pretty, pretty close race. And I'll, uh, I'll put the official score on your winning meme. All right, Sean, when I sent it to you. Sweet. All right. So next up, uh, this is going to be. Let me see. This is going to be the Disney four pack. I guess you could call it a little bit of a five pack. So it's going to be Mrs. Nesbitt. This is when Buzz Lightyear goes a little insane and he's being held captive by the little girl and she's forcing him into indentured servitude as a tea party participant and he loses his arm. This is probably one of the funniest parts of that whole trilogy. So you got Mrs. Nesbitt. Let's get out of here. You got Dr. Facilier, which I just grabbed out of a Gotcha Robot mystery box. Box Lunch exclusive. What you talk about, Wills? That's right, SDA. Old school. You got the Walmart exclusive Dumbo. Um, Dreamland Dumbo, which was donated by Frost Queen. Thank you again, Frost. <laughs> That's correct, Grumpy. <laughs> and finally, the rock candy, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Jasmine with the Lamp, another donation by Frost Queen, which, again, super awesome for her to do that. All right, so that, that is the Disney four-pack there. And with, I almost forgot, there is one pretty cool little piece that I've left out. And that is this. This awesome Boogie Boogie keychain. This is Funko. What's he have, ice cream? Maybe, is this Disney or Funko? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is Funko. Hold on. Might just be Disney. I don't know. I might have just bought it. Uh, he is holding dice. They're actually dice, but it's hard hard to see. They're, like, stacked on each other. It's hard to kind of tell. I kinda think he's see. holding that in the pop, too. Yeah, so it's something like that. So It's actually solid. It's, like, rock-solid vinyl. It's 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 got a nice weight to it. It's a nice keychain. Hmm. So you got the Oogie Boogie, and you got the Disney 4-pack here. Well, Disney Pixar, I guess you could say. Let me just put these back in the box, and then we will draw the winner. <laughs> exactly, Curtis. Dice, ice cream, nobody knows the difference. Just give me one second, guys. I got to scoot over a couple of these boxes. Hold on a second. Everybody look at me while Tim does things.
All 58 of you just stare at me. We're, we're doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, nice, Alex. Dice cream. <laughs> quick draw. Uh, quick draw would like you to dive in the boxes like I did on Booze and Pops. I would do that, but all the boxes have merchandise in them, and I'm sure people don't want them to get crushed. So, unless you're GameStop. <laughs> So, guys, as I've been throwing these over my shoulder, they've been landing in winner's boxes, so I think I'll keep the ones that fall in the winner's box. I'll leave them in there for you. So you get a weird random picture with your, uh, with your prize. <sighs> All right, so let's do this. Let's do this for the Disney four-pack. And here we go. All right, we got 68 unique comments, as you can see right here. And good luck, everybody. <laughs> hey, I won. Awesome. <laughs> Let's try that again. Rig. <laughs> Hashtag rigged. That's because I was like, that's because of my PSA I put up there. Avery. Everyone, hey, we're <laughs> we're trading winners here. Congratulations, Avery. You've you've always been on my channel. You've always supported me, so you deserve it. Hey, B Cobb's back from his pee break. All right. Well, I hope you could uh, stick around, B Cobb, uh, and you got you were able to get rid of it all. Thanks for coming, guys, by the way. This is an awesome turnout. Uh, Sean, I, I'm having – I have so much stuff open here. It's hard for me to ascertain who, how many people we got in the chat tonight. But do you see a number on your phone? There are 61 people watching. Wow, that is incredible. I did not expect to have that many people. So thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, I love the activity in the chat. It's a lot of names that I'm familiar with, a lot of true supporters in the community. And um, – Super awesome that you all came out to support the, uh, the giveaway. So thank you. Uh, Avery, congratulations. Uh, I'll get with you. And, uh, you know, I already have your information, actually, so I'll be good. Uh, if Stabby2134 is still here, definitely be sure to DM me on Instagram. Let me just make sure you didn't screw up the hashtag, Avery. It's just a rule. I got to do I got to do it. Let me go over there. And make sure you got the hashtag correct on the video. Oh, it, you know it shows their hashtag uh, when it picks them as the winner, as it right under their name. Oh, so it does. Okay, new to this again. Little <laughs> little convenience. <laughs> yeah, it's way way easier for me than going back to my video every time. So yeah, that's totally. I didn't work. realize you were doing that, or I would have said it earlier. <sighs> yeah, Sean, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, I'm a better so, guest than I am a moderator. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. I had a great time. I'm glad that this game actually worked out pretty well. I might, I might tweak it a little and play it again at some other point, but uh, that was a lot of fun. All right, so Avery is the big winner of the Disney 4. Didn't Avery just say she really needs those? And then she got it. I feel like Avery's a, a secret genius computer hacker at a very young age. All right, so... Uh, I do have to add two more giveaways. We're already at 8.15, so I'm just going to bang a couple more out while we're at it. Is everybody cool with more free stuff or what? <laughs> what? Give me the thumbs up in the chat if you like free shit. No, just talk. <laughs> Boo giveaways. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be a long time after this that I have another giveaway. Um, all right, so the next giveaway <laughs> actually will do this one first. The next giveaway is going to be the three T-shirts, and I'm I'm not going to show you them because I'm going to throw in a little extra thing in there. But it's it's a Venom T-shirt from the Venom Collector Core box. It's a Rick and Morty T-shirt uh, design like uh, Leonardo da Vinci in the Vitruvian Man position, where he's all out like this and he's got a bunch of arms, and it's Rick. And then the other T-shirt is the Deadpool on Unicorn. You know what? I'll show you what the hell. What size yeah. are they? So both of the the Deadpool shirt is a large, and the Rick and Morty is a large, and then Venom is a medium. 
So, if, I mean, if you win them, give them to somebody, they'll fit. So that's the Venom shirt from the Collector Core box. This also is going to come with a matching keychain for the Deadpool shirt, which is Deadpool on Unicorn. This is the Deadpool shirt. Which is pretty awesome. Love that. Totally sweet. I'm and with then, you, Larry. Those are uh they're not gonna fit me either. <laughs> yeah, I apologize, guys. You know, um it's hard when you're dealing with apparel to to do something that'll be universally useful. But like I said, this is a generous community. So if you do win this and it doesn't fit you, you know, maybe gift it to somebody that you think it might. And that's the Rick and Morty shirt there. And I'm going to throw in a little extra plushy thing for you as well into that package. It'll also ship out in this Venom Collector Core box as well. A double box maybe. But they are shirts, so they, there's no damage possible there. So, <laughs> Mike, I don't know if I'm that size. Says he wears a triple extra fat. <laughs> Uh, but, but, but something, okay, got it. Something happened with my, oh, there it is. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. We're going to pull for the uh, three shirts. Let's do this. Let's do it, do it, do it to it. Boom. Good luck. Tyrone. Tyronosaurus X. Tyronosaurus X is the winner. Tyrone's been around for quite some time. Hey, Tyrone, two larges and a medium. You have people that can wear that, or uh, is that going to fit you? Is are you he in, here? Are you in the chat? Did you leave? I hope you didn't leave. Come on, buddy. He's always around. He is always around. He has one for me before, though. You have one minute, Tyrone. 45 seconds, Tyrone. Oh, there he is. Boom. Ah, uh, yes. All right, Tyronosaurus. Good Congrats. for you, buddy. Tyronosaurus X with the shirts. Nice, nice. You wear a large Tyrone or what? Is that gonna fit you? Give me a give me a give me a yes or no. You got two larges and a medium, so maybe uh you your significant other and maybe your kid if you have any. He says large. A small medium at large. Did you see Mystery Pop Theater's joke, Sean? Yeah, you, that's what I was laughing at. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, large, well, perfect. All right, there's two larges in there, man. Enjoy. Enjoy that Deadpool on Unicorn. That's a badass shirt. All right, guys, I'm going to move out, move right along here because I still have one, two things to give away and then the two bonus items that I promised. So the next thing, and I'm trying to get done in the next 10 minutes. So the next thing is... The Pop Pez 5-pack, which includes the three Captain Crunch, Crunchberry, Jean LaFoot, and the Captain Crunch, the blue Huckleberry Hound, and the very special Huckleberry Hound Chase. So we're just going to get right into that, and we'll give that one away now. How's that sound? All righty. Cosmo is excited. Oh, Cosmo's excited. He is wants. Co God, you ripped the. Is, <laughs> is, is Kazi entered into this? He should win. No. Two, hey, peas two peas and a pop. Two peas and a pop are the winners of the five pack of pop pez with the chase. Two peas and a pop. Your one minute begins now. They should be here. They're in the hospital, so unless they got to. Uh... I Baby saw them. Duty, I would imagine. I saw them earlier.
two peas in a pub. He has a much better voice than I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't sing on my channel for a reason. I was in chamber choir in high school, though. I can I can hold a tune. Oh, two peas. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody so, uh, you got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Two peas and a pop. And that, and that hits the, the 30 second mark. Little hand. Oh, where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? All right, I'll give them an extra 15 seconds because I did see them earlier. They do have bigger, better things going on right now, everyone. So, you know, let's keep that in perspective. Yeah, thanks, Mystery Pop Theater. All right, well, why don't we, because they are in the hospital on a special occasion, I'll give them an extra minute and a half. How about that? <laughs> they're, they're doing a baby unboxing. <laughs> For all of you guys that don't know, Two Peas and a Pop are expecting uh, a baby any, any hour now. So I, I, I had her yesterday. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. But they're still in the hospital, so I'll give them, let them have it. Oh, look at you guys. Isn't that nice? Let them have it. Let them have it. All right. We'll let them have it. Those are people that right. I, I'll, I'm willing to make an exception for them. So two peas and a pop. Congratulations on your new your new child. It was a girl or a boy. It's a girl. Congratula Bella. Congratulations on your new little girl, Bella. My wife and I are expecting as well. So I, I'm with you guys, and uh, you know thoughts and thoughts with you and uh, speedy recovery and uh, bring Bella home. All good. So congrats on the win and. Uh, you know, I'll DM you guys for your information. I know Mystery Pop Theater uh, might might have their info too. Or, or it's on it's you. on their it's on their YouTube page also. Okay. Okay. Let me just write them down. How far along is your How far along is your wife? Uh, she's early yet. She's early. So oh, when okay. I well, congrats then, man. Thanks, bro. Yeah, first one. It's terrifying. <laughs> My buddy just had his second, so it's. I think after the first one, you get more used to it. <laughs> but enjoy no sleep for a while. Yeah, no, I, you know, dude, it's, uh, I hear there's no sleep, but, you know, it's totally worth it. My brother is two years older than me. He just had, he has a two month old. So I have a two month old uh, niece named Mackenzie, um, who's super cute and I uh, love her to death. So, uh, yeah, lots of cool things going on in the Funko community. Uh, from a pro from a procreation standpoint, <laughs> <laughs> Frost Queen is uh, you know being the ambassador for child care over there, telling no one to <laughs> have more than one. All right, yeah, well, yeah, uh, Rebel Toys was giving me the uh, some funny jokes about that as well. Um, all right, so two peas in a pop, get the pop pez. That kind of uh, worked out well, didn't it? All right, I think so, that uh, for two peas and a pop, I think that's like their fifth kid. Are you serious? Holy crap. Yeah, I think they have four. I'm pretty sure they have four boys. Uh, Curtis, you could probably correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I think they have four boys, and this is their first girl. Oh, that's good. Uh, they finally got a girl, huh? That's awesome. That's awesome. I have a friend of mine who's had, uh, he had three girls, and then they had another girl. So at that point, if you're trying for a boy, I think you should maybe just stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, what you ever watched the uh, the league when it was on TV? Uh yeah uh, yeah yeah I love that show the, the, fan the fantasy football show yeah oh, Steve Brin is easy the the main guy that uh, crazy haired dudes always call him Brian or whatever yeah he uh, <laughs> he has a funny comedy show he talks about his neighbor's kids says you know they've got a 15 year old girl. 12 year old triplets and a, and a 
two year old uh, girl, and he's like, after they had triplet girls, <laughs> they had another kid. It freaks me the hell out because there's no way I'm going back after that. Yeah, my, I mean, my wife. We're we're on the fence as to whether we're gonna have more than one at this point, but uh, you know she you know she was basically like, if I have twins, then we're done. <laughs> if so, th- if I had four teenage girls in my house, you can cut my nuts off. I'm done. Yeah, sterilize my ass. All right, so <laughs> we got Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box, which was the premier uh, uh, prize before we hit the fifty in the chat. Now there's gonna be two more. Um, and I'll do these quick because we only have a couple more minutes. So this is the most recent Smuggler's Bounties box. It's the, I believe, the Dagobah system. So it comes with the Yoda Mystery Mini. Um, the movie moment where Luke is seeing himself in in uh, Darth Vader's helmet, kind of sinking into the mud. Kind of really cool movie moment. And also it comes with like an R2-D2 uh, notepad. Hey, Nicole. Uh, I, the com- Go ahead. Yeah, Nicole just said, why is he blocked? Because I don't know who he is. And I've he came to my channel the first day I opened it. Has never been back. And then he tried to enter the contest. So that's why. I didn't know it's your kid or who. I don't know who Reese is. So, sorry. It's her son. <laughs> Again, not you know, not my fault. Maybe she can win for her son then. It's only one prize per household anyway. Unfortunately, when you make universal rules about trolls that come in only for giveaways, you got to follow them or you start to just make exceptions everywhere. And then you get a bunch of people that never watch your stuff coming in for giveaways. So I apologize to Reese. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings, but his mom's here so she can win too. All right, here comes the Smuggler's Bounty Box. Good luck. Pugzer. Pugzer is the winner. Are you here, Pugzer? You have one minute. Yeah, Nicole, I looked at his channel. I didn't see any liked videos either. Unless it's private. That's not my fault again. Can you not see that? I had that already. Okay, so let's pick another winner. Pugzer is passing because he has it already. So we'll pick another one. It's nice of you, Pugs. Yeah, that is very nice of you. I like that. Not getting greedy. I like that. All right, so here we go. Kind of mainstream. All right. All right, kind of. Let's see. We got the congrats on 200. Hashtag Jack Burton 200. Got the proper hashtag. Good job. Mainstream, you are on fire lately, buddy. Hey, Nicole, I'll uh, I'll switch that up for Reese. But yesterday I was going through the comments and I was visiting all the people that I've never seen. I have 70 videos. So if I haven't seen you, you haven't been around in a while. On my channel, at least. Um, and so a lot of people got blocked yesterday. I'm sorry Reese got caught up in that, but, you know, I didn't know who he was. So Kind of Mainstream is the winner of the Smuggler's Bounty Box. <laughs> he is, he's been on fire lately, no doubt. Kind of hit me up on Instagram with your info. All right, guys, I actually have to go get the, the final two uh, giveaways, and we'll do them pretty much both at the same time. So give me one second. I'll be right back. All righty. Well, mainstream is everywhere, guys. So if he if he wins a lot, it's because he's supporting everybody. But, yeah, I, I saw him post uh, – I forget if it was Instagram or YouTube, but saw him post a bunch of wins. Dude is, dude is a winning machine lately.
Cat D, welcome. Uh, highly doubt it. Uh, <laughs> you can see, you saw Diva on Instagram. She's, uh, she's not holding herself together real well. <laughs> All right. So we'll finish this up because Sean's got to bounce out here pretty quick. So the, the main added giveaways are going to be these signed prints by Phil McNulty. These are Sweet. signed by the artist. These are absolutely fantastic. Look at the artwork on that. This guy has done work for Marvel. He's done work for DC. He's a very accomplished artist, and his work is amazing. There's Miles Morales. So the first prize of the last two is going to be these two prints that are signed. I was there. I saw. I watched him sign it, and it is Black Cat. I know Quick Throw wants this one. It's Black Cat and Spider Man and Miles Morales. Oh my God! I'm like 14 with that Black Cat. Whew. Sorry, say something, Tim. So you pop back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. So yeah, these prints are super bright, super colorful. As you can see, you got the signature down there. McNulty, Philip McNulty, 19, right there. He also designed, uh, when the 92 X-Men came back in 2011 and they did a redux for Marvel in the comic series, he designed the cover of that as well. So these, these are fantastic. I'll have to get special uh, like, like rollable shippers for those. So we'll do the giveaway for these right now. As a show of appreciation for having so many cool people in the chat tonight and all the support. I wish you all the best of luck. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. Ohana. Well, Ohana's in Hawaii, correct? Correct. So she knew that. I already messaged her that, so she knew that. That's why, if you see, she didn't put the hashtag. So we're just going to go to somebody else. I reached out to her personally and said we'll work, you know, like a trade out or something, because I'm not shipping to any. I'm only doing continental U.S. All right, no so here we, here we go. Good luck. Elite Rockstar JVB is the winner. He, I saw him in here earlier. You got one minute to comment. Starting five, <laughs> starting five seconds ago. I don't, I don't think she did, Quick Draw, but nice try. Uh, he's from Peru, kind of. He might be. That sounds familiar. I think I feel like JVB's been in a few of my lives. I mean, even if he, even if he's, if he's in Peru, he, I can't ship there. So, I mean, that was in the instructions in the video, guys. I mean, in all fairness, I did say make sure you read the instructions very carefully. I'll give him a chance to tell me where he's at if he's in here. Uh, he's got about fifteen seconds left. Uh, he you, said he can give it to somebody if that's okay. Oh, we, uh, I'll, I'll let you make that option, but the person uh, I would prefer is in the chat tonight if you're going to give it to somebody, or I can draw another winner. Which one would you want to do? Hey, Lindsay. Thanks for coming. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Big Bear. Hey, Tats. Christina. Easy, buddy. You want to come back up here? So, so, elite rock star JVB. Let's see. Okay, you, I want to give, give it to Lindsay either. She's not in the U.S. Yeah, Lindsay's in Canada. Elite. It's got to be somebody in the United States. 
I'm sure Lindsay appreciates that, though. <laughs> No, you're not eating the nuts. What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, you need to give me another name so I can uh, let Sean prepare for his next live stream. <laughs> Kelly Zufelt. There you go. That's a good person to give it to. Kelly's in New York. Ah, uh, Kelly's in New York. All right. So Kelly Zufelt. Send a thank you card to elite rock star JVB because he just hooked you up big time. Congrats, Kelly. All right. Signed. Uh, let's see. Was this Miles Morales and Spidey? Black Cat. All right. We got one last one, guys, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Wrap it up, B. All right. This one is really cool, too. You're not going to want to miss out. Boom. First, we have same artist, Philip McNulty. Oh, that's the one I would want. <laughs> Spawn. Amazing prints. This is an amazing prints. I was actually thinking about keeping this myself. That looks yeah. awesome. So the way that he does these prints is that they're kind of half window, half blank, as you can see. So it actually makes it look very 3D, and it makes it look like the character is coming right out of the page. He's an, he's an awesome artist. As a matter of fact, Spawn is going to have a redux pretty soon, and he's fighting really hard to be on that team that does it. So you have a signed Philip McNulty Spawn print, and then his cards on the back too, so you can look them up. And then we have a signed Gambit print. I know this is what ClickDraw wants the most. Yeah, there's my favorite X-Men. Signed Gambit print by Philip McNulty. If he pulls my name quick, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> I don't blame anybody for not giving this to somebody else. As long as you guys are in the chat, you got it. I will be I will be rolling them up and putting them in those cardboard spirals to ship them just to keep them safe. But uh, yeah, these two prints are freaking fantastic. fantastic. Where did you get all these signed? Uh, there was a local Comic Con actually uh, a few weeks ago and. Super tiny, dude. It was literally at like a moose lodge, you know, like an American hmm. Legion type of place. And I went in there and uh, he was one of the better artists. That, he was probably the best artist that was there. Um, but I got a couple other stuff signed uh, from my personal collection. I gave my did you bring the uh, did you bring the Philly crew with you? No, no, because they're actually invalid. It's pretty far away from me. He's he's a couple hours away. Um, oh, and okay. yeah, and Philly's fan is about an hour or so. Probably the closest person to me is Quick Draw. <laughs> no, Quick Draw said he needs a change of undies, so if you can help him with that. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, I hate to see these go, quite frankly, because they would look fantastic framed on my wall, to be perfectly honest. But these are amazing prints, and whoever gets them is one lucky SOB. So here we go. I'm going to start, and good luck, and this is the final giveaway for the evening. Once again, thank you all for joining. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out if you liked it, and here we go. Good luck. Sweet, Sweet dreams. dreams. Sweet dreams. She was definitely in here before. Yeah, I saw that name earlier. Let's see. Sweet dreams, are you in the house? <laughs> LJ, you did not win. <laughs> LJ, unfortunately not. I'm sorry, man. Sweet dreams, you have one minute. If you, if you, oh, oh there she is. All right, congratulations, sweet dreams. You are the proud owner of two signed. Two signed prints by Philip McNulty, Gambit and Spawn. Totally, totally awesome. Let me write you down there. Hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is sometimes pops. All of the winners, I'll read them off again. 
Zach Bonifer won the first prize. Mystery Pop Theater, you won the second prize. Stabby213, you won number three. Uh, Avery Corman won number four. That's Ava Rooster. Number five is Tyronosaurus X. Number six is Two Peas in a Pop. Number seven is Kind of Mainstream with the Smuggler Bounties box. And number eight is Kelly with the signed Spider-Man uh, prints. And number nine is Sweet Dreams. Appreciate it, Larry. Hey, guys, if you want more giveaways, you got 20 minutes. Go enter Forever Freaky Funkos and join us over there. Yeah, everybody that's here, uh, if, if you're hanging out and you have time, Definitely just do a little live chat swap and head over to Forever Freaky Funko. If you want to see more of Sean Ryan's mug for the rest of the night, you got your wish. Uh, it'll be a good time. Forever Freaky Funko's lives are always really great. He's a very generous guy. And, um, you know, I I'll probably be there as well once I clean up all this stuff. So thank you guys so much, Sean. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Dude, thanks for having me and being so generous. I mean, this is 200 sub giveaway and treating it like it's a thousand. So good job, man. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. And everybody in the chat, as always, thanks for your support. Continue to support everybody. Don't just go and uh, subscribe the day before a giveaway. Go and actually look at the content. Leave them a thumbs up. Give them some encouragement. It takes a lot of work to do this YouTube thing. Uh, it's a lot of money spent on our personal sides. We pay for shipping. You know, we're paying for these products that we give away. So please just continue to support and uh, be a positive influence on the community. And uh, to the rest of you, have a great night. And I'll probably see you in the live streams later. All right, Sean. I'll talk to you soon. All right, buddy. All right. See you guys. See you guys. Have a good night.